Hello everybody, in this episode of Project No Secrets, we get a whole bunch more parts arrive as there is so much happening behind the scenes. Now, although a lot hasn't been happening on the physical car itself over the last couple of months with this car, a lot has been happening behind the scenes. A whole bunch of new parts have arrived, the big one being the Ross Performance Dry Sump Kit, but some other things have arrived as well. Behind us over here, the White Line Adjustable Sway Bars. We've partnered with White Line for a very long time with our project cars. We'll cover more on those later. You've probably noticed I've developed a bit of a fetish for powder coating, thanks to my enabler, Tommy at Produce Factory. So we've had the lower control arms, powder coated, we've had brand new uh, ball joints for those arrive, we've had all the brackets for the rear brakes and the four wheel drive system all been powder coated so that'll look fresh and brand new. Thanks to Carter I've pretty much got a zinc fetish now as well so all of the bolts uh, from under this car have been sent off to be zinc coated and tidied up. You saw in the last episode that our R35 brake calipers had been completely overhauled and powder coated. We're currently waiting for new seals from Japan so we can put that seal kit in with the uh, the pistons into that. The guys from Kudos Motorsport are sourcing those for us. Uh, we also needed to get these bobbin pins for the floating rotor in the rear. Because we didn't start with any factory rotors, we were missing these. The guys from V-Sport were able to source those for us so that once uh, Marian's R35 brake conversion kit arrives, we will be able to assemble all that. We should be doing that in the next couple of weeks. Before we talk about the dry sump kit though, I will mention our R33 GTR is heading off to Hypertune next week so we can start some of the serious work on the car itself. We're going to be doing the dummy fabrication for all of the intake, intercooler, radiator, turbo, etc. Uh, once all that's done, we can map out where a lot of the things are going to go in the car. Then we can start on the chassis repairs. Then we can do the external repairs and really get the uh, work on this car moving. Because at the moment, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and things happening off the car, but we really can't wait to get that car cranking forward. So now let's take a look at the Ross Performance Dry Sump Kit. So for Project No Secrets, our R33 GTR, we've decided to go for a dry sump setup simply because we know we want to be able to lap this thing around a racetrack reliably and do all forms of motorsport. Plus, we pretty much are doing, well, a best of the best build when it comes to this car. Now, if you want to learn how dry sumps work and the advantages of them, we are putting together a totally separate tech feature of what the fast segment about how dry sumps work. So make sure you subscribe, press the notification bell and you can check that feature out very soon. What we are going to run through now though is what comes in a Ross Performance Dry Sump Kit. Now these are designed in Australia, a lot of the parts are made here. The only bit that comes from overseas is the Aviad pump, it's a four stage pump in an R33 GTR kit. There is three scavenge pumps and there is the pressure stage pump. Very high quality pump, these guys have been manufacturing oiling systems since the 60s, involved in lots of motorsport. It's worth the money for such a high quality pump. The other part that comes with their kit is the dry sump tank from Aviad. However, we're not going to be using this tank because Ross Performance are currently working on their own design tank that we're going to be stalling in the car later. Speaking of other designs compared to what comes with the kit, Ross Performance Parts does provide uh, their sealed rocker covers or cam covers for their dry sump kit. As you can see inside, no need for any baffles because it's a dry sump. These are also shorter than factory, so they can obviously, when you've got an RB30 block, they can clear a lot better. But we are going to be using a different uh, cam cover design. Why? Well, just simply we want something custom and a little bit different. So you'll see that later when the car starts to come together. So they're the main parts of the kit, cam covers, the tank and the pump, but obviously you need to have all the things that make all of that work. Now, when you get a dry sump kit, most kits would come with a dry sump pan, but because the GTR is all-wheel drive and has a diff in the sump uh, integrated into it, it's not that simple. You need to take a factory sump and you need to modify it. So these two tubes are pretty awesome in design. All you have to do is drill a hole in the side of the wings off the factory sump, slide these through, weld them in, and then these will suck the oil and air out of the bottom of a factory sump. And then you have this third attachment which goes at the back of the sump. Now the instructions make it all seem relatively straightforward, and this enables you to convert a factory GTR sump 
into a dry sump. Very, very cool design by the guys at Ross. So, what else comes with the kit? Well, you have a billet oil pump block off. Essentially, this eliminates the factory oil pump but still allows you to have the front crank seal uh, and the design allows all of the fitment of all of the factory or aftermarket balances that go on as well. You also then have a normal style sandwich plate adapter for the side of the block, except you now have a block off to block the out part because the factory pump no longer does anything. Comes with a whole bunch of AN fittings that you need, both for the pump and for the tank and everything else, but it doesn't come with any lines. You do have to custom make your own lines based on where you want to mount it and how you want to fit it up. It comes with the bracket that you need for the pump as well, so you can mount that onto your RB. You do lose air conditioning in this particular setup. I'm sure you could make it work if you want comes with all the mounting brackets you need to line it up and it comes with different springs so you can set the oil pressure how you want it. Uh, what else does it come with? The kit comes with a balancer. Uh, this is one of Ross Performance Parts' race series balancers. So, 1000 horsepower plus with one of these bad boys comes with the integrated trigger pickup on the back. Uh, and the cool thing is it already has everything you need to attach the pulley to drive the dry sump comes with the belt for the dry sump and then obviously it has the right size pulley that you need uh, to go onto the dry sump pump. This also has little guides on the end uh, that basically stop the belt from being able to fall off the edge of this one or fall off the edge of this one. So uh, those shields basically make sure the belt can't slip off and stays on there so you don't lose oil pressure. Also in the kit is a rear head drain, obviously something pretty important in an RB. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different, obviously, fittings, bolts, nuts, etc., that you need to go with this. Now, the other thing that comes with the Ross Performance Parts Dry Sump Kit is also their trigger kit. Now, their balancer already has the trigger disc built in, so it's just pretty logical that you'd also get their trigger kit as well. So we've got the two Hall Effect sensors, the spacers, you can see the keyway there, the bracket to hold the sensor onto the trigger disc on the bottom, uh, and we've also got the cover for the exhaust cam, which is where you basically pick up your cam signal. So their dry sump kit doesn't just include the actual, the pump, the tank, uh, and how you mount all that up, and obviously getting rid of the factory pump, it also includes the trigger kit as well, so it's a pretty complete solution. So when you buy this kit, you can install it all up, and all you have to basically do once you've installed it all into the car is you have to run lines for it. And because everyone will mount their things a little bit differently, that's why it doesn't come with lines. Now, you're probably saying, yep, it's a pretty expensive piece of kit, and it is, but GDRs aren't cheap, ladies and gentlemen, and with the value of them going up, and how much money you can spend on making these things pretty epic, the extra dollars for a dry sump kit is certainly going to be worth it on our R33 GTR.